the event known as Mile and Kenta's Summer Vacation. And I will be including the, the swirl for this in the description of the video. Um, I do have, I w you may hear some chatter in the background. We do have a guest over and my husband and our guest are playing DDO while they're doing this. You might hear them in the background, but it shouldn't be, um, so overwhelming that you shouldn't be able to hear me. So, we shall move on. So I am at the beginning of the location for Mayu and Kenta summer vacation, and so here here is the area, and there are two sides of this. Um, and this side is the original language that it was in, and then here you have the English side, and of course, um, of course for for me and for anybody else who's viewing this video most likely will be choosing the English side so you would touch this particular um, object right here for the HUD I already have the HUD and once you have the HUD the way this works is unlike Kagami where you actually work through this um, very linear storyline you are going to actually be working these little mini games where every time you clear them you get a little OK in the icon over the mini game, and once you complete you complete um, any one, you don't have to complete them all. Here's the little icons for the mini games right here. You don't have to complete them all. I mean, like if you just do this, the, the mini game associated with this particular icon that my mouse pointer is hovering over, then you can go straight to the prize area and get your prize there. But um, they have a lot of interesting prizes, so you might do well to actually just do all of them, get okays for all of them, and then go to the prize booth, and then you can get a lot of prizes at once. And among those prizes are the ghost costume that I had been wearing earlier. Here, I'll put it on right now. And there it is, a nice little ghost costume that I had been wearing during the second half of the Kagami video, which is actually easily one of my very favorite outfits to wear. Um, but for this video, instead of wearing the Yuri costume, I'm going to wear instead a um, mesh kimono that I had actually made recently. Um, I made the mesh, rigged it to myself, uploaded it, um, and it'll be ready for sale as, in, uh, as soon as my partner in this has uh, completed the textures for it, because my texturing abilities are quite poor. Anyhow, oops, my Elisa took off the uh, head. Let me get the head back on. So now that I've explained the general overall idea of this event, now let's get it started. So basically the, gen the, the general premise for this is we are a pair of kids, or we're one of a pair of kids who are on summer vacation, and for summer vacation, we are visiting our grandma, who lives by the beach, and she has a bunch of tasks for us to do. So among the first tasks for us to do is we are on summer vacation, and and I believe, since it is Japanese, in su during summer vacation, summer vacations, unlike in American schools, where summer vacation marks the end of the school year, the summer vacation is actually just the middle of the school year. It's where you have this, you have a block of, uh, of uh, vacation time, but when you go back, the, the school year hasn't ended. You're just back to school. So because of that, you will have summer vacation homework. So you click on the icon, and then now it says it's it, now it shows that you're going to be doing it. Finish a math worksheet. Mission will be cleared with ten correct answers. Now you'll notice I'm still here. What you have to do is you have to go in the chat, go into general chat, and then click the link in order to get the swirl for it. Oh, and someone is saying hello to me. <laughs> I was going to say, well, I, I don't read Japanese. I am so sorry, but oh, hey, <laughs> she actually translated that into, ho into hello.
so. So she said a hello to me. I'm going to be friendly and say hello to say hello back. And so as we say hello, click on these florals. So now you have the option here to teleport. So you're gonna click teleport and it should teleport me to the area where I have to complete the task. Let's see. Oh, there it is, the math sheets. Each of these events are just so incredibly cute. I really enjoy doing this, and they're not very long at all, so I would actually recommend that everybody go out and do this at least once. Do each and every one of these events at least once, because it is a fun little experience. So here I am. I'm going to sit on the bench. Ooh, I'm going to turn the master volume down a bit because it's all in my ears. I've got my headset on. Alright, there. And now, so now she's sitting in her seat. Please touch. And now you're given a bunch of math problems. And it says, attention, please do not press E. And I'm guessing that means that when you write the answer in the box, don't press enter. You have to actually press the, you have to click the submit button here. So the first question is, 28 divided by 14, which, I'm not very good at the mental math part, but I'm pretty certain that's two. <laughs> Woohoo, I got it right. 14 divided by 7, that two is two. I do know that. 64 divided by 8. 23 plus 2. 6 times 7. 7. Sorry, it's a little hard for me to actually enter this in really quickly. 48 divided by 3. I actually kind of have to put that in the calculator to make sure I don't misremember this one. I know. I believe it's 15 though, isn't it? No, it's not 15. It's... I don't know. I, I Oh, hey, it's 16. There you go. I'm, I'm supposed to be the mathematician's bachelor's in mathematics, but, you know, there's a, there's a saying that there are two kinds of mathematicians. Those who can count, and those who can't. Actually, the joke goes, those, there are three kinds of mathematicians. Those who can count, and those who can't. <laughs> Six minus thirteen. So it's not really that, that bad, though. I mean, they give you these cute little cute little things. Each station is different, which is why I'm going to actually go through all of them. Um, so that way you can see what they're like. 8 plus 4. 54 divided by 18. And as you can see, you see this little OK stamp over the icon. So now that the mission is complete, miss scanned up, then click on the next icon for the next mission. Once again, I have to go into the main chat, and then click on the link here, and this will teleport me directly to the spot where I may do the mission. And, ah, here it is. Clean the porch. A sound mind grows in a clean house. So, basically you click on one of these. And now we have a nice little vision of my butt there. Let's see if I can actually, there you go. And now you have to actually sit and watch your avatar scrub the porch. If you're a big fan of anime, this scene should actually look quite familiar. Um, this is one I see quite often when they have that big cleaning, house cleaning scene. And if someone's cleaning the floors, they're usually doing it in this particular manner. And this is basically the task. You just actually have to sit there and let your avatar sit on there and 
clean the porch for a certain number of seconds. And, that, and as you can see, um, I've got 140 seconds remaining. And I, and I find all of these cute, cute because like what you have to do for each one to make it work is, is just a little bit different. Like I said, the first one was a math, so you have to solve a bunch of simple math problems. So now that you got your uh, summer homework out of the way, now to do a little bit of summer cleaning, which she's doing. There she goes! There she goes! 100 more seconds left to go! And from what I recall, the next, se the next ta several tasks are all about the kinds of summer vacation fun that, you, you are, that people are likely to do on summer vacation. I wish I had the ability to read Japanese. I might actually have to learn how to read it because I would so love to know exactly what is being said in these chat balloons that are flashing over my head. <laughs> it just, I, that's actually the first time I ever really just noticed that. I was like, oh hey! So apparently my avatar is saying something while she cleans, but I cannot read it. Um, if there's anyone out there watching this who doesn't know, and who can translate, I would so love it if you can actually uh, tell us what's being said. <laughs> 30 more seconds, almost done. And the setting, I just, I love looking at the setting. I mean... A lot of work was done to put this together as well. I mean, it's very definitely a different feel um, from Kagami. I mean, Kagami was the story to experience, experience, and the summer vacation is a different premise altogether. If you're here, <laughs> and now that my avatar is done, she gets to collapse onto the ground. <laughs> And so now you're doing all the kinds of tasks that you would be expected to do if you're on summer vacation. Apparently, summer vacation with Grandma. Next task. Oh, okay. Remove the weeds in the garden. Pull the roots out completely. We haven't quite finished with all of the housework. So there is the teleport. Oh my goodness. Looks like I made a sail somewhere along the way. I wasn't expecting that. I'll take a look at it later. <laughs> um, okay, so now we have to clean. I'm sorry, not clean. We have to remove the weeds in the garden. So we haven't quite finished with our chores before we can have our uh, summer vacation fun. So we did our homework, cleaned the porch. Now it's time to tend to the garden. <laughs> and there I am. It's, it's another one where I have to actually just sit there and let the animation carry itself out for a certain amount of time. So now here I am picking weeds. And if you hadn't noticed, I have been way overdressed for uh, all of these household chores. <laughs> but it's still fun to watch. So you get to sit here and for a, a certain amount of time just sit there and watch her... Um, Engage in these very cute animations and, 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 and just putting this together, you know, it, between having to make the animations and then the scripts and the objects and whatnot for this. I mean, look at this. Watching her do the, the pulling weed animations and then you, you see the counter going down, how long she has to remain in it before you get the OK symbol and then you can watch all the the little flying weeds everywhere, which shows that you really are supposed to be kind of playing the role of the kid on summer vacation, because this kid does not care. They're just like, okay, pull the weeds, just pull them out, pull them everywhere, you know, just, you know, let them fly everywhere, rather than just kind of neatly picking them up and putting them in a bag or somewhere where they, you know, you, you later dispose of it. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, 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 none of that. None of that. <laughs> Another notice. Oh, okay. I already clicked on that. So there you go. Very definitely a child at chores. But hey, at least she's helping with the weeding, right? Right? <laughs> you don't be exactly as the way Grandma would have done it, but hey, she's helping. I didn't sit here and groan and moan and be like, chores. No, I'm actually just, I'm helping, just probably not quite as, uh, as well as people would like, but at least I'm helping. <laughs> 30 more seconds. Again, this, this is an event that really doesn't take very long to do each and every one of these tasks, and I would highly recommend that you do all of the tasks at least once, because they are all very cute and fun. Twenty more seconds. Ten! Almost done! And my pretty kimono completely overdressed. Done! Alright! Another mission done! Three done so far. I only have one, two, three, four, five, six. Eight more to go. There you go. Alright, so the next one. It's time to do exercise. Don't goof around until OK Mark appears on your head. Okay, so we did the homework, tended to chores, and now time to tend to our personal health. Don't worry, I think this is one of the last ones where you just click on something and let an animation play. Although this all on its own is pretty cute. So, 160 seconds left. So it looks like starting off with my deep breathing exercises. Let's see if I can get this to face me a little bit better. Oh, you know what? I always forget this is here. There you go. I don't know if you can hear it, but I can hear the music playing and everything as she's sitting here resting. <laughs> I hope my animation overrider isn't actually interfering with what I'm saying. Oh, there you go. It's after the deep breathing. There you go. Very overdressed for this. But very cute. This is absolutely adorable. Oh, 
gosh. These animations are so cute. I don't know if these were already pre-existing though when they got them, so I'm thinking they probably had to have made these animations just for this. And now I got my okay over the exercise task. So, so far, at Grandma's house we had to make sure we got all our homework done, then we helped with the housework, then we pay attention to our night and for to our personal health. And now all of that is done. What does grandma have for us? I was tempted to just let that run through just because it's just so fun to watch her go through that. Um, but next task, next task. Find Kumiko in the sunflower maze. Get Katori Buta and wear it before you start. I know I'm probably butchering the, the, the pronunciation of that. I don't mean to. Okay. But what they are saying is that before you do this, you have to click on this box and it'll give you an item. And the item will actually be what the granny character is actually writing on right now. I actually already have a copy of it. So I'm just actually going to just wear what the one I already have. And when you have it, just add it to what you're already what you've already got. And then you use that to go through the maze to find Kumiko. See, if you actually weren't on this, I think the mosquitoes would like totally eat you. But when you're on this and then you fly through the maze, the mosquitoes just kind of go, oh, hey, you're too much to handle. We'll go away. Wish it worked that way in real life because, frankly, I hate mosquitoes. I well and truly do. actually a bunch of stuff here like if you find your way into the spot in the maze here it's like you can do a bunch of stuff like you can get like a copy of the, like little items on the table and stuff and use the animations in here but I actually just kind of want to find the bear Which, considering the fact that I'm a Packer fan, I feel kind of, in a way, a little dirty looking for a bear. I should be looking for a Packer, not a bear. But that's okay. That's okay. Yeah, me in mazes is just such a horrible, mean thing to do. Is just to put me in a maze. Because my sense of direction is, um... Well, it's non-existent. Okay, now along the way in the maze you'll meet these little doppelgangers. And they're going to say, sorry, I'm not Kumiko. I'll give you a potted sunflower for your efforts. Which I actually already have. So I'm not going to take it. See, who's sunflower in cube? So I actually already have one. But, you do get these little gifts and prizes. I mean, you, you already get to select a bunch of prizes and stuff when you complete the tasks. But I think it's really, really sweet of them to offer you even more prizes as you're going along and doing these things. I mean, they're like nice little extras that they let you have along the way while you're doing the event. Um, here's another one. Sorry, I'm not Kumiko. I'll give you a balloon for your efforts. Please touch. And I do have the balloon right there. So, I'm not going to get it again because I already have a copy of the balloon. So, I'm going to go down around here. I am Kumako! Did he come to pick me up? Thank you! Please touch! And I touches him. And that doesn't sound right. I don't mean it. Mean for it to not sound right. <laughs> Alrighty. What is that sound? Is that one of them like mosquitoes hiding around? Nope. Okay. So I'm going to detach this. And then you get a little pose ball. And for this pose ball, it lets you do a little Yay! I found Kumako pose! There it is! 
I wanted that on film because I think it's an awesome cute little pose. Yay! I did it! I don't remember if it's the same pose for each pose ball. Let me try. Yeah, it is. It's the same pose for each pose ball. <laughs> I love it. I, I guess you can say I'm the kind of person who takes pleasure in such simple things, but you know, if you can't take pleasure in simple things, then what's the point, right? Alright, so on to the next uh, the next task. Catch an, catch an eel. Then we can have boiled eel for dinner. Ooh. So after going through little sunflower maze with the uh, with the goal of finding the teddy bear, now my next summer fun task is to do a little bit of fishing. Fishing, fishing. Sit. Um, in this one, basically, your avatar just sits on the rock, does the and does the fishing animation. And every now and then, it's going to catch something, and it's going to tell you what you caught. Um, and yeah, see, look, you'll know that you caught something when it, you see the little kit icons all over the place. What the hell is this? You gotta get a clog. Yeah, I guess that's the equivalent of catching a boot, huh? Okay, so, and you do this, I don't know how long they have you do this, I guess I did lie, so it is another one of the kind of do the animations until something happens, but it's it's something with the goal, so it can randomly happen when you actually catch the eel. When it does, it's kind of, um, I'm guessing it's random. I, I I don't know if it's like timed or not, but basically you sit here and you catch a few things. Like right now, I caught a I got a Japanese rice fish, which is apparently very tiny. Ooh, got another hit. Let's see what else I got. Oh my, you got an empty can. Yeah. By the way, when I said what the hell is this, that's that's there. That's what they said right there. Here, what the hell is this? You gotta get a clog. That's what they said. That's on me. <laughs> so tiny, you got a rice fish, and oh my, you got an empty can. Let's see, is this a, is this an eel? What the hell is this? You gotta get a clog again. Hopefully, it's a left and right, so that way they match. No, actually, you you don't get anything in your inventory. All the extra little things that you catch, they aren't objects that they give you into the in your inventory, which would be neat little things. But at the same time, <laughs> you know, they've already put a lot of work into this that I you know that, that I can't really complain much. So close, you got a weather fish. I don't know what a weather fish is. I may have to look that up eventually. I'm guessing it's a kind of a fish. Maybe it's like an eel. It looks close enough to an eel for them to say so close. Ooh, another hit. Another hit. What is it? What is it? So tiny. You got a Japanese rice fish. No. Yeah, I'm so overdressed for all of this. Ooh, another hit. What did I get? Actually, kind of camming around to the side just to see what it looks like from there. Oh my, you got an empty can. No! I just kind of want to get a look at her and how she looks in her animation. She looks pretty cool and cute. So yeah, remember, for each of these events, you have to make the animations, you have to make the scripts, and of course you have to make the items. So, I mean, th th a lot of work went into, as much work as what went into this is as they put into Kagami. So, yeah, I am actually very impressed and quite appreciative of the work that they put into all of this. I mean, it's, it's really neat, which is why, of course, I'm sharing it with everyone. Oops, you gotta get a clog. Another get a clog. This is one thing I do kind of wish. Okay, I, I, I am selfish and greedy enough to wish that they gave me a get a clog. More accessories. More wearable stuff. <laughs> I know, I ask for so much. That's so bad of me. That's okay, though. More hits. Is it it? Is it? Is it? Is it the he eel? The heel. 
Nope, just a weather fish. Now, they do actually seem to have a scoreboard over here. Um, yeah, when you actually do catch a, an eel, it tells you, I think, how long it, how long the eel is, how big the eel is. So, I guess if you're lucky enough to catch a very big one, your name comes up on the board. As you can see, my name is nowhere on it. The, the, the last, the first and only time I did this before this, it was, uh, apparently it was a small eel, but at least it was an eel, okay? Oh no, the eel escaped? That's evil, I didn't know it could do that. Oh, yay, yay! Okay, yay, congrats, your eel's length is 0 0.441053 meters, which... After looking at these, I'm guessing isn't all that particularly long. Um, yeah, they all actually start with the whole number before the decimal. So, yeah, that wasn't enough to get me on the board at all. But I caught my eel. So, went fishing for eel, had eel for dinner. So what's the next thing to do? Find bugs at the flower garden in the woods. Get a net and wear it before you start. Alright, we're going to do a little bit of bug catching. Because in the summer is when you get all kinds of interesting bugs to come out. Now, to do this, to do this particular task, you do need to get a net, which I already have. So you would click on this and then it would give you a net, which you would wear. Let's see. There it is net where click on it right click on it and click add and that puts the net in my hands and then basically you go catching for bugs so you click on a bug catching thingy It'll tell you, please sit, and then you do your little animation, and it lets you back down. Yep, there it is. And then in the chat, it's telling you what you caught. Like, I got an evening cicada, or cicada, I don't know how to pronounce that, plus three points. Got a banded dragonfly, plus three points. So basically the way you're doing this is you actually catch a certain number of bugs. You basically catch bugs until you reach a certain number of points. And when you reach that number of points, um, it... When you reach that number of points, then it finishes. <coughs> so, so far I've got 6, 8, 8 plus 3 is 11, plus 5 is 16, I'm thinking it's going to be 20 points, that'll do it. I, cou I couldn't remember from last time. A centipede, minus 2! Damn, went from 16 to 15, that's not cool. Ooh, a rhinoceros beetle plus five points. So fifteen plus five no sixteen fourteen plus five would be nineteen. So Woohoo! Yep, so it looks like twenty is the magic number because that got me a plus one. Alright, on to the next task. Get ten pieces of firewood. Pick up nice ones. So we can put the net away. Now the task for this is to go around this little area and pick up firewood. Why would you want firewood? Well, it's summer vacation and so you're probably going to be using the firewood to cook whatever you catch. 
and just to roast marshmallows and whatnot. And every time you click on a piece of firewood, it'll tell you whether you got the nice kind of firewood or not. So this one's too small. So I still need to get 10 pieces. And they do have a timer so that if you touch a, a, a log, if you touch it again too soon, it'll tell you. So you have to actually go around and touch the, touch a different log. Which isn't bad. Again, it's supposed to be a nice little fun little hunt. Ooh, got, got a nice piece of firewood. Nine more pieces left remaining. Ooh, eight more pieces remaining. That's pretty nice because the first few ones I touched were like, new. No! still have eight pieces remaining. Seven pieces remaining, so that one was nice. Ooh, nice! Exactly the right size. Six pieces remaining. Five pieces remaining. Again, it's all here in the, in the local chat. It'll tell you how, far, how how much you've gotten, how much more you need to go. It's I mean, they don't leave anything as a mystery. Four more pieces left. Woohoo! Going oh, at a nice clip here. Am I touching it? I don't think it's registering my touch. There you go. Yuck, a lot of bugs. So that one's not the right one. Too big to carry, four pieces remaining. So you know, I'm kind of guessing that if we were going to make this into a story, that we arrived, got homework done, got some chores done, did a little bit of exercise, um, had fun in the maze, did some eel fishing, went and caught bugs, and now we're gathering firewood to actually cook the eel that we caught. Ooh, three pieces remaining to actually cook the eel that we caught. So I'm guessing that the maze and the eel catching and the bug hunting were all on the same day. And now we're getting ready for the night and catching wood. Well, that's probably not exactly it, but I like putting a story to this. I mean, I mean, it's kind of meant to be interpreted as a story. Otherwise, they wouldn't have called it so-and-so's summer vacation. Woohoo! That one was good. Two pieces left. Yeah, I always forget the names of the kids who are supposed to be on summer vacation. I'm sorry. One more piece. Is this gonna be my last piece? My final piece? I don't think it touched it. I think I need to get a little closer. Nope, too small. I think I need to get closer. It's too big! <sighs> a log of bugs. I'm thinking if it's full of bugs, as long as the wood is dry, the bugs would burn, right? Alright, got all the, all the pieces of firewood, so it looks like we're going to have our eel dinner. Woohoo! Alright, so the next pa task. I'm thinking it's happening next day. So the next task involves us at the beach. Now, the reason why I'm thinking these things are kind of happening at different days is, like, when you look... These icons have to have like different border colors. Like these four, the homework, the chores, and the exercise are all brown bordered. So I'm thinking maybe all of this is happening in one day. Then you have the maze. So it's looking like, okay, maybe you spent the day playing around in the maze finding Kumiko. And then day three is in green here. So you went, you caught some eels, you went around and had fun catching bugs, and the night approaches, and then you get the firewood. Now we're like on day four, and this all all of these have a beach theme. So day four. Now the first thing is watermelon seeds. You know, watermelon seed spitting contest, 
And so we grab a watermelon and wear it. I do believe I actually have a watermelon still on me. Was it this one? Yep, yep, that's the, that's the one. I'm going to have her sit on the bench while she does it. And there you go. You watch her munch it and she spits. And it tells you here, you, you pass the submission when when you manage to spit more spit the watermelon seeds farther than two meters. And that was only one meter long. And you get you actually get to watch the watermelon seeds just spew from her mouth in this animation. And I just I think it's really cute. Um Again, I bet that shows a lot of work and, and all the little details that you're getting out of this. Was that it, Alec? Oh, so close. 1.8 meters. So you just sit here, you let her chew, munch, 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 and then see when she lifts her head up to, to spit the watermelon and see if it actually manages to do it. Oh, 1.7. And then you can see when she's getting close because you can actually see if she spits it too close to her, it actually just kind of like falls here. If she spits it far, you can see it actually shoot out. Ooh, like just like that, 2.5 meters. There you go. And she puts a lot of melon away. So, the next task. And you don't actually have to teleport to it because it's right there. The next task is catch precious seafood. Can't wait to have a lot of seafood. Well, we're at the beach, and so at the beach, what are we going to do? We're going to go and uh, do a little bit of fishing. A little bit different from the eel fishing with the river. This time, we're going out into the little ocean with our little bucket. And there she goes, diving down for the seafood. Like the fire um, wood gathering one, not the firewood gathering one, but the bug hunt one, you actually catch certain types of seafood and they'll, they'll give you a point. And when you collect a certain number of points, 20 points, this mission will be completed when you get 20 points, right here. Um, so when you get 20 points, you, that's when the mission's complete. So she's going to die down. She got an octopus and a spiny lobster. They're all worth a certain number of points. And she did a little cheer animation. If you actually get something that gets you um, negative points, she does this really cute, I'm angry at the situation kind of animation. It's it's pretty funny. <laughs> I remember the first time I saw it, I was like, oh my god, that's so funny. I actually love watching her swim. I mean, it's like, yeah, she's overdressed and stuff, but when she's in this particular style of kimono, and you watch her die down under her, I love watching it because she actually looks like a little mermaid going down under there. I mean, the way she's swimming, it's like you see the little, it looks like a mermaid tail, it's just, it's cute to watch. Break time! <laughs> that was cute too because like I bet again she just she looks a lot like a mermaid. I used to be in the line because the first iteration of this particular kimono people were like oh you look like a mermaid I'm like it's not a mermaid it's a kimono but I'm actually kind of getting what they're saying I'm like hey it really does <laughs> you know even in mesh she still manages to look like a mermaid under certain circumstances and it's pretty cute I mean, isn't this gorgeous? I mean, you, you, you've got this beautiful ocean scene with the water sprays and, you know, you got the little pretty swim animation and, you know. Hey, I wonder if she's actually getting anything because the points haven't actually... 
increased. Break time. I'm kind of wondering if it glitched. <laughs> um, oh no. There you go. Got a spiny lobster. Now it's adding points. I mean, I'm going to back up. Oop. A little too far. See, I mean, look at that. That is so pretty. They were... Oh, there you go. I got a cramp. And there she goes, jumping up and down in the water, looking angry, which is just this cute little bounce, which is, like, really cute. <laughs> oh, and you can see little things just kind of floating around in the water. It's pretty cute. Oh, this is cute. Well done. Well thought out. A lot of work. Um... Yeah, so thumbs up to the people who made this event really great. Come on, one more point left. Nineteen points. One more point. I guess she's not catching anything. But since it's not like a negative pointed, she's not like doing her anger. Oh, there you go. Got a cramp. Minus one. There she goes. Doing her ah, kind of a animation. Now I'm back down to 18. That's so mean. Didn't get anything, but apparently she didn't uh, lose anything either, so... Ooh, I got an oyster, plus two, and that should be 20. There you go. And I believe, yep, there, you don't even have to click stand, because she'll actually push the little bucket back. And stand up on her own. The next, the next task, build a sand castle, work carefully, and make a cool one. View. And here's where we get to see just, once again, I'm a little bit overdressed, making a sandcastle, getting mud all over me, but that's okay, because I'm having fun. I'm making a sandcastle. <laughs> and in here, heave-ho, heave-ho, making my sandcastle. Nearly done. I don't know if it's going to be that easy. The first time I did this, the waves came in and washed it, washed it off. She even does this little offended look. Almost done! Uh-oh. <laughs> Are they going to let her finish early or are they going to have the waves wash it away before she... Oh, yep, yeah, there you go. Ah, big wave, that's down my sandcastle. I need to do all over again. Nearly done. Full giant hold run. Ooh, my husband and my friend are gonna do a full giant hold run. It sounds like. Well, some of things is gonna be epic giant hold too. Yeah, that is totally unrelated to this. Sorry. <laughs> and it got washed away again. Because we are so evil. We can have to rebuild the sand castle several times. Yeah. Yep, there was indeed an alien walking behind me. And they teleported away. Yeah. I'm glad I'm filming this because frankly it's yeah. nice to have video evidence when things like this happen. <laughs> And he is crucial. <laughs> <sighs> oh, he's on a big wave knocking things down. Hey, there it is again. 
the Come on, kitty. I have a kitty asking for Where's some she? nap time. She's like, can it be nap time, please? And it got washed away again. There it is. Is it actually a person? Or I don't think I don't it's a person. I think it's like, I don't know. It disappeared, so I can't tell. Thank God I'm filming this because otherwise I think it was just me. <laughs> Imagining things. Horribly. <laughs> It's there again. Okay, there's a reason why this is kind of bugging me. Is because, um, f for entertainment purposes, I like to watch a lot of alien conspiracy videos. It is moving its head back and forth. There it goes. And, and, and you know, there's a big joke between me and my friends. It's like, you know, it's like something goes wrong. I'm not saying aliens, but you know, aliens. You know, so when I see this little alien thing, oh, there you go. Woohoo! And it disappeared at that. <laughs> okay, so let me see the little alien in the background. <laughs> I'm trying to make sure it isn't me just seeing aliens because I've been watching a lot of things with aliens. <laughs> Alright, so now we have all of these tasks done. Yeah, we go, when we're now on the hub, we can click the button TP to get the prize. That comes up, and then you hit the teleport. And now you're in the prize area. And the way it works is, once I'm fully rezzed, I'll actually show you. Oh, you did? There you go. Awesome. Now you have the choice of prizes, and you're actually surrounded by a lot of different prizes. Um, I mean, look, look at all of this. They, they offer a lot of things for you. Um, now, the prize that I got, the one that, that I showed you early, here it is. SS Yure Kimono. And this is where I got my ghost setup. Since I already have one, I'm not actually going to get it. Um, but here is where you get it. And when you, when you get it, then you get to be a ghost. Woo! Ghosty! For some reason, I don't seem to be resing properly, though. Oh, there you go now. It's showing. But instead of that, since I already have that, I'm going to click on something different for a prize. And for this time, because I've actually gotten a lot of these, but I haven't gotten all of them. So, oh, darn. <laughs> I did that without thinking. I wonder if it's actually still there. Where am I? Head? Are all the okays still there? <laughs> did I totally mess that up? Y no. Okay, I was thinking, oh my god, did I just reset that? <laughs> okay, so, no, 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 it, it's still there, it's still preserved, I got all of my prizes. Hey, we have that question answered, that's good to know, right? Okay, so if you're interested in a prize, the first thing you do is you click on the prize, you chose the prize, it will be exchanged when you click the, click one of the OK buttons on your HUD. So when you click the prize that you want, then you go on the HUD, and then you click on any one of the icons with an, with an OK stamp on it. And there you go. Butterfly nut poses. So that butterfly nut you got, now you have a bunch of poses to go with it. Bikini poses. I did not get those. Click on that. Click the OK button. I get to keep the bikini poses. I don't believe I got this one. It's compote. RNG. I actually don't know what that is. So... I guess we'll find out. Do we have a 
it looks like I got all of these. There are lots of different prizes on here. Like I said, I actually managed to get most of these. Um, one of the cute ones that you might want to think about getting is like the Japanese Granny Avatar set. Yes, they made an avatar, a Granny Avatar, of this particular Granny right here. And then the one in the picture that was writing that little thingy there. So you may want to think about getting one of those because it's cute. And they actually have a lot of nice little me mesh clothing sets Ooh. here too. Um, most of them are along this area. And so this... This wow. is the summer vacation. Let me click on this here. Mayu and Kenta's summer vacation. This is the event that will allow you to dress up as a fun ghost. This is actually easily one of my favorite outfits. Um, <laughs> I don't know why. I just find it incredibly cute. Um, this ends uh, September 11th, or I believe September 11th is the last day for this. So come on down. The event's really easy to do. It doesn't take very long. Um, I'm sure it took a lot longer than it normally would if I wasn't just trying to chat and play at the same time. And, you know, just kind of getting distracted by things. But these are all really quick. The prizes are all fun and interesting to get. So I invite everyone to come on over and try Mayu and Kenta Summer Vacation. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful evening. Bye-bye now.